so illuminati dropped a video that's like so rare it's called it's titled the video is titled the end so i want to see what he talking about let's let's jump right in all right, that shit recording. Dewey sold in the building. Gang, sir, gang, sir. Smooth skin sold in the building. Baby drill in the building, man. Simple. Simple. Yo, how's Solo when I been, bro? He, like, just comes around at the most random times. Am I going to post this this time, bro? Like, <laughs> am I going to post this? I, I can't do my real intro because I was just... Doing my motherfucking laundry and shit. I got my boxers on right now. I'm in the house, shit. I'm at home chilling, nigga. Uh, so listen, this video is not about me. Okay. I've been good, bro. I'm chilling. Nigga. Every time you see me, I'm a, you know, it's gonna be like I haven't been nowhere because, bro, like shit, we connected, my nigga. Little do you know, you my little bro. No Big way. bro, whoever the fuck you is. Gotta be a real nigga, though. No femboys. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is. <laughs> Yo, so listen. <laughs> Something has come. To so I'm. I like. What about like me? So am I like able to be a little bro, bro? Can I? Can I be little bro? I feel like I could be little bro. I don't know, bro. I, I'm just saying, bro. To my attention today. Today is the first of the month of August, and what sh what actually triggered this video was a a a. A 2K, um, a, a, some fucking 2K gameplay that they had posted, and it pissed me the fuck off. And it put me in the mood to just want to complain. So here I am. 2K is cooked. I'm actually there right now. I tell you this right now. I'm not gonna lie. 2K is the reason why I wanted to do YouTube. Playing 2K. I love 2K. I came up on 2K. Um, I came up watching Soluminati, Pretty Boy Fredo, all them. Like, they were inspiring as hell when I was in high school to do 2K. Like, do YouTube, make 2K content, and blow up from that. But 2K is cooked. Like, I tried it, bro. I tried it. It's just the game is so not fun. I can't even push myself to play it consistently enough to get enough content. Mind you, I'm pretty fucking good at 2K. Like, for... And I, I don't want to, like, play the gender thing, but as a girl playing 2K, I get a lot of content on that game. Like, I'm really good. And and people, kids, they just be like, oh, my God, she's a girl. Like, they really glaze. So I feel like that alone, my content will probably do something. But I can't do it. The game is so bad. So I'm eager to see what So has to say about it, bro. Because 2K was at its peak around 2K, what? I want to say 2K 15, 16, 17, probably up until the end of 17. Peak 2K those years, bro. After that, whew, that shit went downhill, bro. A lot of y'all gotta understand. Sometimes God real take bad. Me away so I can really find myself away from the Ethernet stuff because it's not me. Nothing I, on here is really. Bro, that shit. Did what he just said is real as hell, bro. Shout out to So because he's always been real as hell. He's always been real, bro. The internet stuff is not real, bro. Make sure y'all taking time out in real life to really nurture yourself and do right by you. Like take care of your mental. Take care of your surroundings, everything. Like, just make sure y'all doing that, bro. Because this internet shit, bro, it's fake as hell, bro. Me in real life, it's just images that I created on this bitch, going crazy with y'all. But in reality, when you take everything away from that particular person who got all the clout, all the followers, and was getting all the attention and all the money, that person behind all that, that's who you really want to get a chance to know. Because nine times out of ten, everybody y'all see right now online is just protecting their image. There's a lot of bullshit going online. One of the things I'm starting to notice, my nigga, the weirdo Hollywood pedophilia, all the weirdo shit that was going on in Hollywood is starting to transfer over to streamers and YouTubers. That shit is like... even uh, fucked up to even say you a motherfucking YouTuber in 2024 or a streamer. That shit is crazy. Because nonstop, all y'all been doing is getting exposed for being weirdos. Like, it's fucked up. It's, like, becoming so normalized. It's actually sad, bro. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Every time I turn around, it's another nigga getting exposed for being a weirdo. Shish. Now, listen. I'm going to be honest with you right now. It is a very, very, very tough time. 
And by the way, I've been gone since October 2023. None of this weirdo shit has nothing to do with me. My energy, everything about me was not on YouTube. All y'all other motherfucking new age niggas can absorb y'all self in this. This has nothing to do with me. Respect. But let me tell y'all this, straight up. I remember I was dropping videos on my spiritual channel. See, a lot of y'all niggas is getting older. And shit is starting to click. I ain't gonna even say you becoming conscious because you still a bot. But shit starting to click. Yo, this so thing is... you used to watch is becoming weird to you now. Yeah. A lot of niggas you donated to, a lot of motherfuckers you was just turning up with, you starting to really question them now. You starting to see through them now. When I dropped a video about... I'm about to use this for a, a quick example real quick. Dewey so in the building, man. Yo, I need that Dewey so. I don't know so. I got my shit like this. Y'all trying to see Dewey shine? I don't even have yeah, one right now. I got to wash my shit. Don't steal my shit. I'm about to steal your shit, bro. I ain't no, I ain't gonna cap. So listen, I'm yes, stealing. bitch, I made it up. Mines. <laughs> so listen, I already hear niggas talking. Like, man, nigga, I can hear your ass, bitch. So listen. Yo, this oh, nigga is so funny, bro. I oh my about god. Lil Nas X in the past, and this is when he was twerking on the devil and doing all his little weirdo stuff, right? And I was trying to paint the picture and tell y'all. He's planted perfectly to destroy kids. If you go to a Lil Nas X concert, you ain't gonna see nothing but film boys and trainees with thongs twerking and doing all type of weirdo shit. God, right? please forgive me but right when now. You go online, Cause I, I really don't mean to laugh. I just it's, he's not wrong though. <laughs> so it's like uh He was at that time was doing Roblox concert with kids. That is a bit wild. Fortnite concerts and shit. But no, no children fuck with him. Now y'all got to understand what a plant is when they put in position to automatically succeed. The stream's fake. Everything is fake. But you looking at them like a god. In reality, the nigga was planted literally to change the mind. How many of y'all motherfuckers back in 2018, 2017, you was probably 12, 13, 14, probably 15. You grown as fuck now and you don't want to have nothing to do with Lil Nas X. But back in the day, you was, you fuck with it. But what I'm trying to tell you is this. These weirdos are being planned. This don't really apply to me because I'm, I'm, I'm a Gen Z year, bro. In 2017, I was what? 18, 19. I wasn't really fucking with Lil Nas, but I get what he's saying. Like, he's trying to lead the younger kids to a, a different route. Like, I get it. Planted. And it's starting to happen in the YouTube in streaming community as well. It's been happening. I remember I've been told y'all. I just ain't saying no names. And this video is not to target anybody. It's just the weirdo energy is starting to come over here now. So now y'all got to get gods back like the Kaiser. Kaiser. Who's not afraid to really give you a real fucking opinion. Because most niggas is trying to protect their image. Especially if you in the, these groups and all type of shit. Y'all got so much to lose. Because y'all know when groups crumble, everything just go bad. Yeah. And a lot of y'all ain't even did shit. It's just y'all mans in them. Let me turn my mic down, my bro. Oh. Damn. I feel, like, I feel like this could be taken. Like, what he's saying right now. I'm not gonna say he's talking about any specific groups like FaZe, uh, whatever. Any of those groups, AMP, whoever. But I can see how niggas is about to flip this. I gotta continue. I gotta continue hearing what he says. I gotta hear. Cause I Man, I can see. Five minutes to notice. I needed to turn this shit down. But look, that shit's still loud. I ain't been on here, so I ain't gonna touch nothing. Damn, is you back? I just started recording, my baby. All right, so listen. It's my girl. She just got back. But look, a lot of y'all got to understand this. Right now on YouTube, I say this year alone, I don't know how many people has got canceled for the pedophilia shit. Yeah, I know it... Dr. <laughs> and then you got the... Chris situation, my nigga over there was with Mr. Beast. You should have been got rid of that fucking weirdo. 
Like, bro, we, y'all got to start drawing the line for people that don't want to be human, bro. Like, it is what it fucking is. Just like when I dropped the video about Cooley Ray or Coy Leroy, whatever the, the whatever the, my nigga name is. Like, that's my bro. I told y'all, the little, the little girl, the little nigga had an anatomy. Her whole body looked like mine's. And I study anatomy. I study human anatomy so I could tell what is what. And at the time, I was deeply on semen retention. Who? So I had a lot of energy on my no fab shit. I wasn't really on no lustful shit. So when I'm coming across beautiful ass girls, I see a beautiful ass girls. And when I'm coming across a nigga, I see a nigga. And I told y'all straight up in that video, bro, this bitch could be a boy. I told y'all she was an intersex. Speaking of intersexes, look up what just happened in the Olympics. Old girl got hit one time and quit because the trainee punched too hard. What the fuck is trainees doing boxing against women? I'm telling you right now. What the boys, fuck? Okay, I don't want to. Alright, I see where this video is going. I thought this was a 2K video. <laughs> I thought this was about 2K. I don't I don't I don't I don't wanna really talk about controversial stuff, but I'ma listen. I, I think like everybody's entitled to their own opinions and their own way of living. I'm just not here to comment on none of that. I'm just gonna listen as a viewer. We're gonna listen and watch together. Cause I me mean, personally, I like to mind my business. I, that's just me. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, you know. Boys, trainings, all y'all niggas catching these hands if you ever come near me. But that Olympic situation, like, I saw the video. I did see the video. And that was tough. That was tough. That was actually tough. The prettiest trainee all time. I'm beating you up. If you ever put your hands on me, you catching these hands. <laughs> He you said, weave, 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 weave. One HP. I'm going to leave you on one HP to give you a choice to go back to your normal state. This nigga is so unserious. Like, whoa. Oh, my God. I ain't going to completely get rid of you. I'm going to leave you on one HP so you can think, oh. So you can remember who the fuck you are. You a man. But listen. Back to, like I was saying with Cooley Ray. I told y'all. Who is Cooley Ray? Coming around. I told y'all, by the time 2030 get here, life gonna be so fucking different. Because now y'all got these new species, these new, I call them test tubes. But it's really a lot of deeper shit going on spiritually. But I, this is not my spiritual channel. So I ain't gonna talk about that. But you have these new type of beings that's here who don't want to be human. So they will call themselves they, the, it, um, bitch. All type of shit. They just don't want to be he or her. They want to be everything but that. This consciousness didn't exist until like 2015, 2016. I, I, I'm just like, I don't know. I, I it's new. It didn't exist. Like, okay, drag queens and trainees probably been a, been a thing. It just wasn't pushed to the straight community. It was its own thing. But now, bro, it's like you got niggas in groups with femboys. Bro, these motherfuckers. What's a femboy? <laughs> Uh, what is a femboy? A femboy. Okay. I could have guessed that, but I just want to make sure. But what's wrong with. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, I, like, bro. I ain't trying to get thrown off topic. I'll talk about that in a minute. But, my nigga, these motherfuckers don't want to be humans. They trying to change the way a kid think. And what's the, fir what's the first thing these motherfuckers do? They send them to talk to kids at school. That's the first thing they do is send in trainees and drag queens to talk to kids at school. I'm going to make this uh very, like, short, sweet, simple. Personally, because I am... I think because I am the way that I am, I can only say that, for one, I believe anybody's able to express themselves or be whoever they want to be. I think personally, I draw the line, and you don't have to agree with me on this. I think it's it's up for debate. Um, is when the kids are involved. I think certain agendas should not be pushed onto children. 
for sure. I think children should have the room and the freedom to navigate life and explore life as, you know, natural experiences occur and in their own way, shape or form. I don't think that kids should be influenced to be one way or another way, or I don't think that kids should be discouraged from experiencing life and, and, and trying things like, so I understand where he's coming from when he says like pushing the agenda to the youth. Like, okay, I understand that. But I personally don't believe there's anything wrong with a grown person or someone of age deciding to be comfortable however they decide to be comfortable. That is something that I 100% stand behind because at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter to anyone how someone else decides to live their life. Once they're mature enough to understand and know, you know, this is the this is what I want. This is how I'm comfortable. This is who I am. Let them be. I do believe that the kids should be off limits, though. That is something that I do believe um, deeply. I want to know what you guys think. Um, as far as, like, yeah. That's, that's just my disclaimer. Ooh, a kid can't make a... All they want is V-Bucks and Roblox. To <laughs> they don't... Bro, they, they're kids! Yeah, kids are too... Kids are just too influential, you know? And then... Because even when I was a kid, I was influential. Like, you can influence a kid so deeply to make them believe that they want something. And then as they get older, they start to realize, dang, like, I was not here. Like, I was not mentally ready to make a choice like that. That is that is true. Like, that is something that can definitely happen. And I think to just prevent that from happening, kids shouldn't be able to make certain decisions and shouldn't be influenced past, like, before a certain age. That's just... How I feel, I could, you know, rub people the wrong way with that. But I think that's the most natural, that's the most natural route because, you know, life is life. At the end of the day, people are going to grow up and be who they want to be, hopefully, despite whoever cares or whoever's opinions. But, yeah. The kids! Bro, I can't even remember making a real decision about anything when I was a kid. Yeah. But you talking about you gonna come to a little kid and say, huh, you can cut off your motherfucker. Bro, that's a future school shooter, right? You just destroyed that motherfucker life. Now he ain't, bro. Your daughter? I want a dad. I want a penis. Bro, that's a, what? Yeah, I get and it. This is why I told y'all. Some of these motherfuckers be test tubes placed by planet parents to raise them as trainees. They don't even be their real kids. But we ain't gonna go there. Okay, we ain't gonna go there. But listen, what I'm trying to tell y'all is this. This energy is spreading throughout your favorite streamers and YouTubers now. They gonna tell you, oh, it's okay. It's all right. That's my bro. That's my best friend. I still support him. And this and that and that and this. None of this shit is normal. It's all demonic. It's all weird. And it's all simply to keep targeting kids. Nothing has to do with your grown ass. To be honest, they don't give a fuck about us. If you ain't conscious, they definitely don't care about you. Nigga, you can kill 100 people. One conscious nigga is more powerful than you because that one conscious nigga can wake up a million people that's thinking just like me on the same tip. But listen, mm -hmm. so let's go to this YouTube shit now. You got streamers and YouTubers arguing about shit. A girl should be able to have a kid at the, or get married and... The other nigga talking about kids should be able to cut their body parts and do this. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all niggas. And y'all think one both sides is actually going against each other when both is fucking weirdo energy, bro. Why are we even focused on little ass children? Yeah, this that's the it's that's like now people who did have kid friendly content, y'all seem weird now because of them. People who used to just chill and probably play regular games that kids gravitate to. Now, it's like, you gotta watch how, you gotta watch what you say, you gotta watch what you do, because people now are starting to look at us YouTubers and streamers different. That fucking fake gay or humor that Biden Ross used to do, that's, you can't do that no more in 2020 fucking four. Because that Biden Ross. too much shit is going on. It's Biden Ross. Don't y'all see this? By the way, bro, listen, just like trainees. If you're a transgender, bro, if I'm a god, I know y'all going through a lot, and 
I'm gonna be honest with you. On my spiritual channel, I have helped a lot of people get through like suicidal shit. And I ain't even trying to be, act like I'm just this special person. I I knew I've been in position to where I actually help people from not dying. And a few of them was getting backlash and just going through shit because they was trainees. Now they go through spiritual shit too. Some of them regret it. I even told y'all it's groups that goes against the communities because the communities has nothing to do with them. It's just to go to the kids. Yeah. Most people make these decisions when they older and they regret it. So imagine what's gonna happen to the kids that they let them do this shit and then they get older. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna get pushed. They gonna just talk about, oh, it's okay. But they ain't gonna never show the backlash, the, the deaths, all the surgeries, the, the bro, trainees is leading in suicide, all type of shit. It's like crazy, right? But listen, I can give all y'all your own planet, give all y'all superpowers and natural resources, y'all own planet. In a hundred years, the whole planet would be wiped clean. All y'all would be dead because y'all can't create nothing. Y'all can't create life. Y'all just take. And it's not all y'all, but if you're a part of that community, that's y'all. Same with little, whoever, my man's talking about with little kids, 12 year old, 13 year olds, should be able to get married and have children and all this, bro. Who said that? What go on? A, a little kid, have a, she don't have, she's not developed to give nutrients, vitamins to breastfeed a child. The child would die. She don't have, bro, she haven't even developed yet, bro. And these are man-made niggas be starting to talk about history, bro. This, this is why I'm spiritual now. I have to remember who the fuck I was and do my own research. Y'all man-made shit, y'all not like us. It don't have nothing to do with me. My ancestors wasn't looking for no little motherfucking kids. They was protected, and we was looking for them juicy-ass women who we know we can breed with. And the woman was looking for them motherfucking warriors who they know can go out there and make shit happen. Nowadays, bitches is just looking for niggas who at home chilling, I don't know, got a lot of clout. That's it. They just want to clout me. You ain't even, to be honest now, and I know I'm getting a little bit off topic, you ain't even got to really, like, bro, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's so easy now, bro. Everything there, all the baddest bitches I know got a price now. You ain't even got to try now. <laughs> Tell me about it. Meetups and they bios. It is some good ones out there, my guy, but it's tough out here nowadays. Every bitch a hoe. All she want is a little bit of attention. That's it. You ain't even got to love her for real. Just make her take a few pics with her and just show you, show people. She feel important now. But listen. Back to what I was saying before I end this video, man, yes. little ass girls, little kids, they not even developed spiritually enough to even take care of their child. The child will die without a parent or without formula or different shit. When a woman have a kid, she naturally needs the nutrients or she probably unhealthy or something so she don't have the nutrients. But normally women supposed to have what they need to breastfeed, to feed their children, etc. Uh, younger kids don't have that naturally. Younger kids don't supposed to be doing none of that shit, bro. I don't even know why this is I a can't topic. Even believe I'm even having this topic. Yeah, yeah, like I don't even understand the 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 like there should not even be a discussion. This is off top. This is off limits. Like this is something that should not be discussed and questioned. This is something that should not even be considered. It's just what it myself because I'm talking to myself right now. And by the way, the other nigga who was talking about cutting they... <sighs> I feel like he have to say that. He got to keep playing down the middle so his opinions can feel like something. But, bro, whoever this nigga is, I guess he going to be one of those ones. See, they look for big content creators like that that can keep their shit going. That's crazy. Because hmm. ain't nobody in their right fucking mind going to let their motherfucking little brother or sister who, or kid in general even look at sex even talk about it yeah i'm not having that conversation with a little ass nigga that little piece of shit i ain't even talking to him about no fucking sex shit or her about no that ain't even a combo that would ever exist to a kid they won't even be around or never see it yeah so when they be like i'm having these conversations and i'm doing this and i'm it's up to them if they want to do it who's having these talks with kids Niggas that's already picked out the pedophilia shit in their blood. They not like us.
What I really appreciate about the Google Career Certificate- I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's so Illuminati, he's like naturally funny. I know he's trying to be- like, I know he's serious. But it's just- it's- he's- he's naturally entertaining. And I think it's- it's kind of funny. Well, listen guys, I don't- I don't know what I just watched. I mean, I do know what I just watched, but I was not expecting that. I think I, I thought it was like about 2K maybe, um, about that trash ass trailer. Mind you, I didn't even see the trailer. I just saw a bunch of people just talking crazy about it. I want to know what y'all think about this video. Um, I kind of gave my thoughts already. I don't really want to touch too much on it any further. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all. Uh, stay safe, stay fly. I'll see you on the next video. We out.